everybody around here is excited to get Woodruff back. What he and Corbin Burns mean to this Brewers team, it makes the Brewers a formidable opponent if they can just get into the postseason. And Woodruff is, in fact, healthy. He started the game with five straight K's, tying a franchise record. He finished with nine, gives up four hits in five innings and two runs. And a standing ovation for Brandon Woodruff as he walked off the mound and into the Brewers dugout. Joining me now from his back porch there in Milwaukee, his little girl eating some breakfast this morning. Brandon, man, the smile on your face, my friend, says it all. What were the emotions as you were able to take the ball for the first time in four months? Right. It was uh, it was hard to sleep. Um, I was just excited, more uh, anxious, nervous, whatever all the feelings you get. Um, and I get nervous before every start, but this one's a little bit different when you when you've been away from a major league game for over three months, and um, you know, and I and we're getting to a good part of the season where I just want to be out here helping the team win, and uh, that's what's important to me. And I'm you know I'm happy that I was able to get out there and uh, you know just just have a solid day, and um, you know just try to keep the team in the in the game. Yeah, it is literally a shot in the arm for you to get back, but a shot for this team, Brandon. You're coming back first place in the division right now. This is a team that's sitting at 60 and 53. This is a really good time to be back. What gives you the confidence that you guys have what it takes to get where you want to be in this postseason? Um, we've been here before uh, many times, you know, making the playoffs there for, for four straight years and then, you know, coming close and missing it last year. I think it um, – We've just kind of been in this spot. Um, and this league is a tough league. Uh, winning major league games is hard. Um, but we've we've done it before, and we, we, we kind of know what it looks like at the end of the year. And um, that's the fun part. So uh, these games mean a lot more, not that, it, that any of the other games didn't. But um, coming here down the, down the stretch, it just, means, it just means a lot more. And it makes the games more fun and more intense, which is, uh, which is good for competitors. You are such a competitor, which leads me to my next question. How difficult is it to have to be a cheerleader? It's, uh, it's, it's tough. I, you know, I, tr I try to be a good teammate every day. And uh, when you're not, not able to, to be in the fight with these guys out on the field, it's, it's hard to sit there and, and, um, and just and be a cheerleader. It's, it's tough because you want to be out there with the guys and, and feel like you can contribute, whether if it goes good or bad, as long as you're out there. Uh, I think that's the, the important thing, and you know what? I've, I've and throughout this rehab process, I've looked ahead a few times and had to had to slow down a couple times, and it's been a long process. But you know, I'm kind of taking it a day at a time, and you know what? I'm I'm just kind of being where my feet are, and and today they're in Milwaukee, and I'll go to the field and get some treatment and get ready for the next one, and just be grateful that um, that I'm healthy again. At what point in your outing did you say, OK, I got this. I feel good. I'm not worried about my mechanics. I'm not trying to compensate. I know exactly what yeah. I'm doing. I'm back. Um, you know, probably just really after that first pitch. I think once you can you can get the first one out of the way and, um, you know, warming up in the bullpen is a lot different. Sometimes your best days come when you have your worst pregame bullpens. And I use those more as just my warm up, not as a gauge of how I'm going to do for the day. And. Um, you know, but I think you got to get out on the game mound. You got to throw that first pitch. And once that, once that happens, your, your nerves kind of settle down. Then it's just going out competing and, and, uh, leaving it out there and see what happens. But, um, you know, thankfully it, I got off to a good start and, um, you know, I, I wasn't thinking about the arm or anything. So that's a, that's a good sign for me. Yeah, striking out everybody in that first inning. At any point when you're walking out to the bullpen to have your warm up before you actually take the mound for the game, you're walking out there to get set. Are you like, man, I sure hope I remember how to pitch? <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> fortunately, I've been able to play, and I'm not an old guy by any means, but, um, you know, and, and having the first start back at, at American Family Field, I, it's very comfortable to me. I know what. I know what the dirt feels like. I know what the grass feels like when I'm warming up. Uh, just very comfortable. So I didn't forget that part. And honestly, it just, <laughs> it, it's been three or four months, but it, it felt like uh, yesterday when I got to, you know, when I had my last outing. So that was a, that was a good feeling. And it just kind of felt like a, just kind of 
trying to pick up where I left off and even though it's been a while. So that was uh, that was that was fun. I'd say striking out the side. All right, let's talk about this rotation. When I think Milwaukee Brewers, Brandon, I think pitching. And I think really yep. the three-headed monster of yourself, Burns, and Peralta. But we're not necessarily giving enough credit to Miley and Hauser as well. How good is this starting five? How good can you be? Right. I, I think we uh, – I think the sky's the limit. I, I think we've shown that over the last, you know, four to five years. And uh, it's not just, you know – Corbin's unbelievable. Freddie's unbelievable. Uh, Wade has been doing this for, for so so long, and he just knows how to pitch. Hauser's got an unbelievable sinker. Um, you know, Colin Ray and even uh, Julio Tehran, who's another veteran, have come in and really just kind of glued this um, rotation together. And it, it takes a collective effort. It's not just one guy. Um, I think we all have our own qualities that make us good. And uh, but I think it's a collective effort. Uh, we, we pick each other's brains and um, try to learn from each other. And I think that's the, the biggest thing that helps us. And um, even as a staff, our coaching staff, we, we're always in communication of, of how to get better, how to make adjustments, uh, pitch to pitch, inning to inning and just try to get out. So I think that's what makes us good is the uh, communication part. And then everybody's in for it for each other. I'm a big fan of the starting rotation. I like what you guys did at the deadline as well, getting some veteran presence. What do you know about Andrew Chafin, Mark Canna, and of course, and then uh, the real veteran and Carlos Santana there at first base? Right. Guys who have been around for a long time. Um, I think that's such a valuable thing to a team. Um, getting guys who know what they're doing, know how to prepare to win, and have been there and done that. So I think that's, uh, that's a, a, a real important part of this coming down the stretch is – is just having guys who have, have been there and done it. And uh, I think it's going to be important for us, uh, you know, going here down the stretch to try to win some ball games and, and win this division. All right. Well, right now you guys are at home, American Family Field going today. But make sure when you're on the road, you talk to Mark Canna about all the places that he wants to eat. Big League Foodie is his Instagram handle. Brandon, it is great to see you. Best of luck the rest of the way. We are so happy that you're healthy. Thanks for being with us. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me on.